quick examples for composition of functions, which are often written fog x and goff x, or like letter of letter x, which what, what that really means is that you're going to take this function as written, g in this case, and plug the whole thing in wherever you see x in f. This is how that O should be written. I'm guessing you typed that to get to this video. F of G of X means that you take F and you jam G of X in everywhere that you see X in F. So what I mean is copy out F, square root of X plus one, but don't write the X. Square root of X plus one. Now, instead of X, you're going to write G of X g of x is x minus 7, and this is the new algebraic expression that corresponds to your new function. You can simplify this as much as possible. I get the square root of x minus 6. Looks a little different than what we started with, but hey. Likewise, g of f of x means take g and then replace x with the whole f g is x minus 7, x minus 7, but instead of x, we're going to replace it with whatever f is. f is the square root of x plus 1. Now, there's no way to add and subtract these numbers. One's inside the radical and one's not. That's as simple as it gets. The point is, you are copying out the outer function as is. That's what I've done in the black marker here. And instead of x, you're replacing all of those x's with whatever the function is that you're taking it of. f of g, replace x with g. g of f, replace f or x with f. You're even allowed to have done things like g of g of x. So you copy out g, x minus 7. But instead of x, you write g, x minus 7 you end up with x minus 14. That's the way it goes. The effect of g is taking away 7 from x each time. So when you g, g, you're taking away 14. There you go. It's the way it goes. Composition of functions. Learn it. Best of luck.